Welcome to round three. Need to win this one, get ourselves a winning record. Pick up a couple of boosters and lose the die roll, unfortunately. Keep your fingers crossed. It's a mulligan, unfortunately. That's a keeper. Uh, I think we want to put him to the bottom. I think we just want more another land here, so... We will play out our land and pass. Pathmaker initiate, sure. I guess in that case we might just play our, well, no, I think we still play out our initiate's companion. Next turn play Ronus Monument. Perhaps that's a mistake because then we can play the Pathmakers Initiate for one later on down the line, so I don't know. Close. I'd just rather have the, the bigger presence on the board. But yeah, that's maybe a mistake because then we could play Pathmaker Initiate and uh, Initiate's Companion in one turn, even if we don't hit a land the turn after the Ronus Monument. Yep. See what our opponent's playing out now. Mouth, sure. Heart, Piercer, Manticore is a very good draw here. We'll play out our Ronus Monument. It may be that we don't want to attack here, actually. Maybe a uh, block here, sorry. We may just want to take it. Of course, feed. If opponent plays feed now, then it's kind of irrelevant. We can only draw one card of it. This trade's probably actually worth making. Yeah, perhaps not. Merciless, merciless javelinier. Well, if we can play, see what our opponent does here. Just the path maker issue. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, not so good. I think we will we will swing and offer the trade. opponent will presumably get rid of the Initiate's Companion next turn uh, with his Javelin here, stopping the Minotaur Sure Shot from blocking. Another land next turn would be very helpful. You could also play Feed here for to draw two cards, which is entirely reasonable. We probably did sequence wrong there. We probably should have played Pathmaker Initiate and Initiate's Companion after the Monument. That was the correct way to play this hand. Such is life. Make sure we actually are recording. We are. That's fine. Absolutely, I think what our opponent discards something. I guess he's trying to figure out what he discards. He discards something, kills the companion, and, and blocks for uh, attacks for nine. Would be the obvious play. Another land for us here next turn would be fantastic. Javelin is very bad for us. Very bad. We have a lot of one toughness creatures, nift, crop entanglers, pathmaker initiates, that sort of thing. Yep, here we go. I'm just going to discard something. Swing for nine. 
kill companion swing for nine. Yep. As expected. Oh, that creature can't block. Oh, okay, so we can still block. Okay, well, that's something. Neheb the worthy. Okay, well, not ideal for sure. Yep, well, we will still be taking nine, unfortunately, because of Neheb. We do need to get rid of him. Land, please. No. No, you're not fancying it. I don't think trading with Nehebs where we want to be here. I guess. Just don't see what other option we have. Oh, we're just dead if we do that anyway, are we? Are we just dead? I think we're just dead. Yeah, we're dead on board. Okay. Wow. Well, that one was over abruptly. We'll definitely bring in brute strength for this match up against uh, and take out the Desert Ceridon. Not ideal. Didn't happen for us. Mulligan didn't help, of course, but no excuses. Well, we need to win two games in a row to get anything out of this draft now. Hmm. Annoying. Very annoying. We definitely sequenced wrong, which, which didn't help our position. I'm not sure it would have made any difference, but may have bought us an extra turn. I would like to play first, yes. Let's... Ah, uh, wow. I guess we keep... This is a very bad hand, but we can cycle Pursue Glory and if we can hit a land, we're in... Uh, hit a creature, sorry, we're in some sort of shape. I do not like this hand. It was potentially a mulligan, but we have two removal spells. One of them does rely on us having a creature in play. If I had a creature here, then we didn't. Okay. Gonna be another one of those drafts, isn't it? Knife Club Entangler, yeah. We'll cycle this away. Well, we had a land. Yeah, I had a creature, sorry, so that's something. Perhaps not the one we wanted, but... Pathmaker in the ship. Yeah, exactly, that's fine. We'd like to see him play Neheb here. Sure shot. Yep. Fortunately, I think we have to electrify that. Our opponent obviously doesn't have Neheb in hand, otherwise I'm sure he would have played it. I think we just electrify this and swing. You know, and we can play Pathmaker Initiate and um, Cartouche next turn, so. If you place Javelin near here, obviously we just snap kill it.
took for one for our opponent. Not so good, but such is life. We can play Great Maw and cycle next turn, so I'm sure our opponent will exert here again. Yep. Tormenting voice first. Does that change what we want to do here? Maybe, maybe we play out sure shot here, knowing that. And then we can double block the knife grip and tangler next turn if our opponent wants to do that. for us to just attack actually. Be aggressive. Opponent makes the trade. Yep, happy with that. We know what our hand is. Oh, wow, okay. Swing with the sure shot. Play our manticore with the gauntlet, putting the counter on the. Yeah. And now I'm feeling a lot better about things. We can play the fine great maw, removing the counter off the sure shot next turn. Going a little bit better for us, yeah. Opponent's chumps. We'll play out our Bear Blade Warrior and pass. He's got something. Magnus spray to get rid of the Manticore. Sure. I think our opponent's still a long way behind here now. Well, if he was looking for. A forest, he's found it. Mouth, create a token, sure. I think we swing with every... Mm, no, I think we'll, we won't be greedy. Stops him, also stops him feeding, which is good. No cards in hand. The opponent knows that, and he's playing something. Something big. His own manticore if they've got, like, sure. Can't afford to swing now because we have th 
and you know three lethal targets on the board. Even if he does, it's not the end of the world. Even even if he plays another creature, I think we have time now. And we'll just pass. Has to play another creature here, which he's going to feed to draw a card. Sure, plays a land. He can play another creature. Okay, that's good. That's good for him. Blade Warrior unblockable. And pass. Vault. Sure. Yep. It's a pretty bad top deck here for our opponent. Electrify, which he can't cast. He only has three mana. Yep. We got there. Good stuff. I think we just run it back. Don't see any reason not to just run it back here. And we have one game for two boosters. Would have been three, but the uh, the extra boosters thing is stopped yesterday with downtime, so. Like Oracle, Oracle's Vault, I think is a very bad card. It's not a card I'm a, I particularly rate. I mean, our opponent by the time he cast it, they had nine mana in play. I mean, I guess it draws you an extra card. It doesn't even draw you an extra card each turn. It just gets you, allows you to play a top card of your library. At that point, the opponent could play anything he had in his hand anyway, so this hand's definitely a keeper. 100% a keep. Looking even better now. Oh, wow, okay. Happy to see that. Happy to see our opponent not being able to develop his board. Okay, this hand looks good now. Left crop entangler, pass. We will exert it um, if our opponent is cycling and kills it with magma spray, sure. Oh, he's got nothing. Oh my goodness. Oh, he missed his land drop. Wow, okay, well. We'll play our Thresher Lizard and pass. Dear. Not good for our opponent. We perhaps should have played the Ancrop Crasher there. I think I prefer having it as like a cool weak combat trick. We'll just keep developing our board. Oh, he hit his land drop, so that's something. It's our sure shot, of course. I think we just swing with both and brute strength. Yep. Pass. 
mean, it's still two for one for our opponent there still, so it's not terrible. But if our opponent's like missing his green mana or something like that. We could take a risk and cycle pursue glory and play Pathmaker initiate next turn, you know, setting up a better iron crop crasher. But I think if we if we if you know if that happened, I think we'd rather just play Crocodile the Crossing. Is our opponent colour screwed? No, Soul Stinger. Okay. I think we don't mm, I think we mm, decisions. We hit our mountain. Huh. I think we play crocodile. Hmm. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. We can't play two creatures this turn. We could play Pathmaker Initiate. I think playing Crocodile across in here, knowing that we have Ancro. Uh, Crop Crasher in hand is fine. I think like Pathmaker initiate cycle pursue glory next turn would be okay as well. I'm guessing our opponent's screwed on green. He's obviously not going to attack. Soul Stinger is a fantastic card for this purpose, it just gums up the ground. Land, please. No, but we can play double path maker initiate, which is good. That is what we'll do. And set up and crop crash our next turn. I think that's the win, is it? Uh, three, yeah, it is. Cycle, no. Electrify the crocodile, sure. We can start making things unblockable, so I think we just bankrupt crash her in for 10 and then win the following turn with the Pathmaker Initiates or the Pursue Glory even. Opponent can't swing. Yep. We'll play out our Ancrop Crasher. I think that's game. I think our opponent probably realises it as well. Unless he has removal for this iron crop crasher and he's already played a, ma a Magus Split and an Electrify. That's pretty much the worst card for our opponent here, stopping the Soul Stinger from blocking. Guessing our opponent is currently, wherever he is in the world, currently swearing into a computer screen right about now. Yep. We hit our opponent down to 10. With, and we're able to make the Pathmaker. Well, our opponent's got something. So this might not be over yet. He has Splendid Agony. Wow, okay, well, fair enough. Well, that's not ideal. I guess we just make this guy unblockable and get in for two. I guess our opponent was considering killing the two Pathmaker initiates. We, we, what we might do is we might kill the Soul Stinger next turn. It, it can only, well, it can kill the Thresher Lizard. If we get a land and we play out our, you know, something from our hand, then um, the Thresher, you can't kill the Thresher Lizard then. The only problem with that then is the Thresher Lizard dies as soon as we draw a card, so that actually really doesn't really work. Let's see where our opponent plays. Man's Crew of the Gauntlet. We can obviously blast that out of the water. Yep. So let's do that. He 
we will make him unblockable. Swing for another two. We pass. And we still have two, well, we still have a removal spell in hand for something. Obviously, playing the Cartesian Strength. Yeah. Yeah, another Manticore of the Gauntlet. Yeah. If we hit a land here, then we can kill that Manticore of the Gauntlet. Oh, we can just electrify this one again. I think we can win next turn. With just with the Pursue Glory. Perhaps we could have won this turn, actually. I uh, know, not with playing the Electrify, of course. We can obviously then just... We can get rid of this. And the Thresher will stay alive, but it's not a great play. We'll make the Thresher a 1-1 one, one that dies as soon as we draw a card, so it seems a bit weak. Yasmic Mummy, mmm. Does that change what we want to do here? I don't think so. We will get rid of the Pursue Glory, I guess. Yep, okay, sure. Well, we can deal with Nihab without a problem. Let's make him unblockable. Attack. I played that wrong. Well, perhaps we didn't. Perhaps playing out the Better Blade Warrior here is fine. doesn't seem to be too close to turning on Neheb, which is good. I mean, if he goes land, Blood Rage Brawler discard here, and then eat, eat. That's not good for us. It's not good at all. Or we can still kill Neheb in that situation, of course. Obviously, we don't block here if our opponent swings. It's not an option. But he doesn't. Maybe we just get here with unblockable dudes. When it's playing something else, something big. Final reward on one of the Pathmaker initiates, sure. Doesn't change anything really for us, doesn't change our game plan because we managed to play another uh, two drop, so we will um, make this guy unblockable. Attack. Our opponent down to two. Kill the Nihab. And pass. This guy has Trample now, which is relevant for the Soul Stinger shenanigans. 
because our opponent only currently has three toughness on the table. Yeah, we got there. Okay. Um, close games. Uh, we had to win out there to end up with our two boosters, but we got there. I didn't. I didn't actually love this deck. I don't know. I feel like if you're playing the super fast aggro deck, the the red white variant seems to be a lot more powerful than the, the than the than the the red green version. I think just having access to stuff like the white cartouche and the as good as the green cartouche is, it, it doesn't tie in so well. A lot of your creatures are small, so you've got like two one pathmaker initiates and two one nef crop entanglers, and putting cartouche on those is not great because your guy normally dies in the exchange. I think when you have um, like those who serves and gust walkers and things like that, which are two twos, the, the difference between two toughness and three toughness in this format is huge. Um, so being able to play. You know, the white cartouche this thing's better in that deck than that aggro, fast aggro deck. So I do think if you're going that route, um, the red white deck's better. But I, you know, we we got a winning record here today. We got a little bit unlucky in that second match, but we we eventually kind of chipped it out. But um, no, I didn't I, I didn't love this deck. Um, but sometimes you just need to play it out. I mean, we lost game one in that match as well, and still managed to end up with a winning record. You know, we we won our last two games. Our opponent did have some terrible draws, uh, and I'm pretty sure he's color screwed here. I'm pretty sure he can't play any green. And we got, we got very lucky. Our opponent played two Manticore of, of the Gauntlets, and we got two Electrifies to deal with them both. And um, so that was that was very lucky as well. Um, but uh, close games, um, and hopefully you'll join me next time for another Amonkhet draft. Until then, bye bye.